Wait, there's a shield down there. Wait, but I'm poor. God damn it. I do like that the rando gives me full speed here. Yeah, Link is a super giga chad in this rando. Yeah, I'm happy that at least the wooden sword doesn't burn in the fire temple. That would be quite bad. Okay, we got a small key. It's so weak. It does nothing. None of them died. This is the weakest sword I've ever seen. Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? My jump was too long. Let's run a prediction if Linkus can find the next sword, whatever it's called, before the three, the 315 mark. Or in the shield, yeah. Or in the sword. Basically, a somewhat usable sword. Because, man, this is barely count as a sword. I mean, it is a sword, but, like, come on, dude. Look at that. It took three full combos, like, ten attacks. Oh, man, underwater. My iron boots are not sped up, it seems. Holy shit! Oh, my God! <laughs> Holy... I know that I have both keys and boss keys randomized, but I don't know if, like, the... Within the dungeon, that is. But I don't know if the shards would count or not. Hey, we got the Hawk's Eye. We can get, like, one more item check. Man, we are so fast. I, I don't feel like this should reach, but last time I said that, it did. So I'm not gonna say it again. I knew that was gonna reach. Yes! More heart containers! We take those! Dude, more heart containers? Nice! Can you defeat Ganon with a sword? I don't know if this game has a set sword or if it's just based upon damage. Except Ganon? Okay. Good to know. Wait, that's true! I need the, ma I need the butter sword for Palace of Twilight. Well, actually, I think I could technically transform over and over and over and over and over again, maybe, but it would be the most dreadful thing I've ever done in my life. But it might theoretically be possible, I'm not sure. Okay, that should be all the pieces. I would say for the settings that we have on and how many locations there are, it's not going bad. But I wouldn't say that this is looking like a baby seed that I can complete in a stream, either. Like... It's about probably what you would expect from a rando with this many settings. It has been a hot minute since I've done this boss. I want to say you shoot him and die. And then you grab these. Make him fall over. Oh man, my sword is going to deal so little damage to him. It is not going to be a quick fight, I don't think. I don't know, maybe it's programmed to be a three-phase. Maybe we're super lucky. Let's see, he should die in the next phase if it's like the normal one. Oh no. It is not programmed to three-cycle. Maybe a five cycle. I'm hoping it's like half damage, so it'll be a six cycle. That's a good idea. Let's try to shoot arrows in his head when he falls over instead of my sword. Maybe that'll deal more damage actually and not make this like a 100 cycle. Whoever said that, thank you. That is one out of three pieces to uh, get access to Ganon. Wait. Right? Wait. But this is part of the required dungeons. I'm so confused. Oh, wait! The f it, because we have to do five locations, maybe... Maybe some of them will be the randomized mirror locations because we have to access the Mirror of Twilight to beat the game. The castle requirements are Mines, Arbiter's Ground, Temple of Time, City in the Sky, and Palace of Twilight. 
Okay. All right, pay out to the doubters. Chat, are you sure you want more predictions? Do one for... Do one for four hours. When you... Like, America, almost in certain situations, have it worse than Sweden when it comes to the cold. Because we don't really get the bad, like... Where the hell did he go? Uh... Oh, uh, did he just clip through the ground? Oh, okay. A cold wind blows. Yeah, so this is why I don't like the northern US. Those are the cold winds that I'm talking about. You saw what happened to Wolf Link? That's gonna be me in a few days. Oh! Oh, I got really excited, and then I saw the item, and I'm not as excited. It's the magic armor. I don't want to unpause, because I'm back to the same situation again now, where there are 92 available checks, and I feel so overwhelmed, I don't know where to go. And I don't know what the optimal thing to do is in TP, so I just feel like I don't like having this many checks, because I just don't know what to do. Link is don't dox yourself. Don't worry. I'm quite careful with saying where I live. The reason I'm willing to say North Dallas is because the DFW area has a population of like 8 million, which is like almost the population of Sweden. So saying I live in the northern part of Dallas is like saying I live in this area where 2 million people live. So it's like, <laughs> like I, I never would get more specific than that. But the reason I'm willing to say North Dallas is because it's like, okay, there's like 2 million people up here. Like, <laughs> it is so big that it's like, okay, dude, like this one city alone is almost like population of Sweden. So I don't, I don't mind. But yeah, like if you ask me where exactly, obviously I'm not the pig. I wouldn't say, I wouldn't talk about that. But to say North Dallas doesn't mean much. I just did. Oh, maybe I need to break the rock on Pepega. Wait. Oh, okay. Oh no, not this mini game. Oh god, I remember this mini game. Oh, this is awful. I think it's the second or the third one where you have to like get a bunch of things down and it's like really bad. Where you have to hit a bunch of rupees or something. I can't quite remember. I hope the boat can't break. Okay, helping hand, and then we have Rapids minigame. All right, time to cry. Wait, you actually is- that's actually is vanilla? Yo, thanks! Okay, I guess we can get water bombs now. Oh, God. Oh, come on. Oh, no. Oh, no. Come on! What the hell? Triple bomb? Triple might! You can only bonk like one or two times and hit all, and then you also have to hit all the targets. Twenty-five is the goal, so basically exactly what I just did, but not hit the wall. 
I might regret this, but I think this is going to make it better. Okay, it's a little bit too hard to aim at 200% speed, but it's such a slow minigame. I don't want to go through it. Let's do 150. Yeah, of course. This is just being played on a Wii Pro. Okay, zero bong so far. Oh no, not this side. Not this side. Not this side. No, not this side. Okay, here we go. I can't believe I actually got it on speed up. <laughs> this better be a goddamn good reward. I swear to God. If this is not a good item, I'm going to be so annoyed. Okay, you know what? It's not terrible. But I guess it just means these. this is for some reason vanilla. I'm not sure why this is not part of the randomizer, but okay, cool. All right, well, I got some good news for everyone. Uh, we have more minigames to come. That was not the only minigames we have. We have even more minigames. How much of this is vanilla? Chat, even if those... Even if... Okay, hold on. So far, we have found one minigame that was vanilla, which would be two items right there, and then a bomb shop. That's three items that were like, okay, these were not randomized. There's 475 items. What do you mean? How... Like, why is this all vanilla? What do you mean? Even if all the minigames were vanilla, that would be like 15, 20 locations out of 475. Oof. Alright, to keep it fair, since we usually say that if I'm on the way to a check, it counts. That was the check, so doubters win. We have to keep it fair. But don't lose hope, believers, because surely the next one is going to be an item we need. Because we need to do another prediction. Uh, let's make the prediction five hours. Because I think I'll probably play for another hour or so. Let's make it five hours. Okay, when it says vines, my guess is that maybe there's some vines on this tower that I can get up on. Oh, I see it. Okay. Okay, I'm not making the same mistake as I did earlier, Chad. I know what to do here now. Okay, that is actually an item that we need. Because Temple of Time is a mandatory item. So Dominion Rod is an actual pog item. That is on the way to greatness. That is our first good item I think I've actually gotten that I really appreciate in like an hour. Because like, sure, the bomb bag's nice, but we already had the bomb bag. So like, it's more of a nice thing to have rather than a necessary thing. Oh my goodness. That was so dank. Hmm. Oh, cold wind blows. Starting to run out of location checks that are easy. Can I do this dungeon? I don't actually know if I can. Like, can I control these with this current thing? Oh, I need a lantern to get through here. That makes sense. Let's go and get some water bombs. Okay. Oh, uh, I think now I can buy them. Yep. Okay. Okay, chat. Let's go and do some checks. If I don't find anything in the next couple of checks, then I'm gonna have to start doing posts. Because the things I have the most left of at this point is posts. I haven't been wanting to, but most of the things I have left is posts, unfortunately. I'm starting to run out of easy, like, chest locations, and it's kind of posts that are left at this point, so... So, yeah. Wait, what? Wait. Can you have three bomb bags in this game? What? 
I didn't even know that was a possibility. Also, yeah, the bomb bags are definitely not randomized. I think it's the only thing we noticed. That's weird that everything is randomized but the bomb bags. Anyway, it doesn't really matter. Huh. Oh, wait, there's a sketch I can get here. Hold on. I hope this is not randomized. I hope this is vanilla. I really hope it is. That would lead us to a few nice item checks here. I wonder if the fog is open. I did do open world settings. Do you think the fog is not applied so we can just run here? Let's see. Kind of hope it is, but at the same time, I don't know about this spawn if it is. I'm about to find out really soon. I guess I could map glitch it, but I really don't want to map glitch it. In that case, we're going to check a few different posts around Hyrule Field. And if not, we're going back to Boris. Can you trade in soul every 10 soul in this game like other games or like or is it just like for all of them? It's 20, 40, 60. Okay. Oh, yeah. Let's donate the thousand rupees. You're right. That's a good idea. That's one item check. That's a really good idea, actually, since we're fat max on items. Let's do that right after this. So I stop wasting rupees, I find. Chat, you are five head. Okay, there's two checks I can do in the castle town. One is 20 po souls, and one is a thousand rupees for the blessing. Is this the guy? Okay. Wait, only 500? Oh. Oh, okay. Nice. Also nice vanilla. Wait. Man, I don't need that. I don't think that that I don't think that gate key works for uh I don't know if that will do anything for me. Because I kind of skipped through the gates. I don't know. I want to find the key that leads into Arbiter's ground. I have no idea what the hell that is. Vanilla? I don't get it, though. Is that just not part of the rando, then? Because I have everything turned on. I think we should go over to Arbiter's Ground. I think Arbiter's Ground is probably where we're being held back, because there's a lot of checks we can do there. And I am hoping, slash guessing, because here's the thing, right? Here, mouth chat. Let me cook, okay? So the key sanity, right, is key sanity within the dungeon, okay? Not all, it, not every overworld. And I'm thinking this, maybe the key in the overworld in Gerudo is randomized within Gerudo. Does that make sense? That is my only guess since we didn't get it. So my guess would be that, my guess would be that one of the locations in Gerudo itself must have the key. Yeah, but that gate key was still within Hyrule. At least this is what I'm hoping. I could be very wrong. Because I'm hoping that the reason that gate key could be there was because it's still within the, like, within Hyrule. <laughs> okay, I guess that confirms the logic. Nice. Well, I guess it isn't Gerudo after all. I'm still gonna check all the other locations around here. Oh, I see now. Okay, this finally explains why some things feels vanilla. In additional settings, there's one that's uh, that's an NPC one. That one is not selected. So certain NPC rewards would, is not part of it. I did not see that. That's why it feels like some things have been vanilla because certain NPC items have not been. I don't know why that is not part of the normal one. Oh, whatever, it doesn't matter. That finally explains it. I've been sitting here bothered by myself. I'm like, why is it not random? Bugs are selected. Posts are selected. Oh, NPCs is the only one that wasn't. Oh, yeah, and Sky characters. Yeah, Sky characters and NPC. Everything else is selected. Yeah, so that means minigames are vanilla. That's why That's why the minigames have been vanilla. Okay, this explains everything. No, we're not resetting. There's still over 400 randomized locations. This tracker uses my seed. So the last item, the last item check for the, for the, uh, for the poll will be this Poe at the top of this cliff. That is the last check, chat. So you're going to get one more check. Here we go. If this Poe right here does not have a sword, the doubters win. Ooh. Chat. 
I'm sorry, but the doubters has one. <sighs> okay, chat, let we have three more posts to check. And then we are going to get to Arbiter's Ground and save. Because then we can start the next stream with dungeons. I think it's going to be really exciting. You know what? Let's do the most ultimate prediction of all time. Progressive item from last three checks. Fact, 90% of gamblers quit before they hit big. Believers, this is our time to shine. Yep. Wait, I need to pause. I, I can't get the item before the prediction is done. I cannot believe how many believers there are for three item checks, but I guess it is progressive based items. So anything in the tracker is valid, but still, except for like hearts and stuff. You know what I mean? You know what I mean with progressive based items. Okay. I cannot believe those are the odds, but here we go. Progressive based items. Here we go. Three checks. One. Well, it's not too late, believers. There is still two more checks. One left. Well, that went about as well as you could have almost expected, I guess. We got a piece of heart, we got rupees, and we got a heart container. Like I said, I could not believe how many people believed on three checks, but hey, at least... We had fun. Oh my god, I just realized something. There is a good chance we can be locked out of Arbiter's Ground because we don't have the torch. I just realized there is a very good chance we're going to be locked out of Arbiter's Ground quite quickly because it can, the keys can be locked behind torch locations. Oh god. Oh, tomorrow is going to be so much fun. I was thinking, oh man, this seat's going to be opened up for tomorrow now. I didn't even think. Oh no. We did get screwed over for the lantern when it came to the link to the past brando too. Anyways, chat, no matter what happens, we are finishing this rando tomorrow. So tomorrow, uh, either it will be a short stream or a long stream, depending on my luck. So uh, yeah, long stream tomorrow.